Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to show you how you can mail merge direct from Outlook into Word and send emails. So first of all, you need to go down to the People option in Outlook. So there I am in People and you've got your different contacts, as you can see down this left hand side. Depending on your displays, you've got these different contacts. If you want to create another group or different contacts or different folders, you can do. If you just want to go a new folder, it will just create a folder. If I just go training there and you make sure it's in contacts, it's in contacts. OK. And it creates a training folder for you, which you can then add contacts to. If you go back to home, you've got new contact and then you can just fill in the information for your contacts there or you can just pull information through if you so wish. So I've got a um, contacts list that I've just created here, which is three people, and you can see the email addresses. And I've set this up so that these come to the same email address, even though it's displaying different email addresses there. Um, two of them come to the same email addresses, that one, and the other one comes to this email address, so just so you can see how the mail merge works. So once you've got your list or your group, so you might want to create a group, contact group, in any of these contact tables or lists um, you can create groups and then you might just want to email that group so I just want to email this group it's actually the whole of this contact list so when you go on to home in contacts you've got mail merge in the middle here so if I click on mail merge it starts the wizard and it asks you a few questions all contacts in the current view or only selected ones so if I had a lot of contacts I could just maybe just click on a couple with my control key 10 maybe using control key to select non-adjacent ones and then it would be just those but I do want it to be all three of these people so I'm going to leave that on there create a new document yes that's what I'm going to use I could use the existing document then I'd have to browse for it if I've already got a marketing document already set up and then contact data file to save this contact data for future reference simply specify a file after browse for that as well now this gives you the options, um, so it's going to be a new document, so I'm going to do form letters, um, you've got mailing labels, it says form letters, but it's actually going to be an email when I actually finish the merge. So that, all that is OK, that's what I want, I just click OK, and it should open Word, well it will open Word, and hopefully we'll be able to get into Word and then do the mail merge. So it's open Word, and then if we go to edit recipients list, should see those three people coming in from Outlook. Click OK to that. So we're happy with that. Now you can, if you want, put a greetings line on there. So that'll do. And then you type in your letter now. So let's put the preview on so you can see that. And I've got some auto text already set up in Word. So I'll just type a few key words to bring that in so we get some information on there. Little chart and then ending. I think it's just end actually and then sig for my signature block so there quickly got some text that I can then merge into an email so the final step for this merge is to go to finish and merge and select that you want this to be an email now it picks up the field email because we came from Outlook you just need to give it a subject line and I'll just call this marketing info which obviously gets straight into the deleted folder if you put that. Click OK, and then that will send an email to each of those addresses. Now, if I just minimize this for a minute and go back into my Outlook. So what should happen now is when I do send and receive, I'll just do send and receive, you should see these things popping in. So there's one, marketing info, marketing info and there's the other one in the other email address marketing info so you can see that the stuff that you sent came in how you expected it to do in an email it looks all right that's okay if that was your marketing information i always recommend that when you do a mail merge you send yourself a copy both set to html and text just to see how the thing looks at the other end because you don't know what the settings are that individuals have got on their machines so that's basically mail merge coming from Outlook using a contacts list in Outlook or you can use a contacts group in Outlook but you're mail merging into Word and then outputting the email to all people.
people that's in your contacts list. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.